I'm here at my daughter's store, <laughs> the world's first kosher sex store. Uh, it's gotten so much attention, it's been all over the media. And uh, um, by the way, if I look the way I do, perspiring and Tel Aviv has these amazing new electric scooters and I take them everywhere, but it is so hot. But you get around and it's amazing. So this is the store and I'm so happy to see it because I've read so much about it. It was in the Washington Post two Sundays ago, it was on the cover of the Drudge Report. It's been, uh, it's been absolutely everywhere. So, Khan, I, I got to meet Christina, right? And, right. and, and, uh, Finally. and this incredible denim shop. I'm showing some of the denim. Okay. I'm not sure these would fit me, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's great stuff. Christina, do you make it? Um, it's vintage and I rework it. Okay. This is Christina. Hello, Christina. How are you? Great. <laughs> You don't have to hide behind the curtain, unless you're like the Wizard of Oz. I like to hide. She talks, she talks behind the curtain. I, I, I guess you've been reading all my stuff about mystery. Yeah. The attractiveness of mystery. Okay. So this is, this is uh, vintage denim. There's a lot of people watching. Good. The vintage denim, and you rework it. Let me just show people how you rework it. I was just looking at your sewing machine. I was very intrigued, actually. That's not for the denim, but it's one of the machines. Okay. So you can make me something with, like, my name on it, right? I can't. Personalized. He's a Rabbi Shmuley jacket. Yeah. Mm. Show denim. them the kosher denim jacket. Yeah, let me see that. Oh, Mushki actually. Let me see Mushki that. Mushki has a jacket. Is Mushki that? Hand denim. Let me see. Oh wow. I should be wearing that. Yeah, this is a. You should. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it, is it oh my, Sold. Oh my gosh, our numbers are going through the roof. Pretty cool. Is that? Um, is it unisex? Yes. Well, Christina, it doesn't make a difference because I'm, I'm one of those men who's deeply in touch with his feminine side, so... Well, I made this for a, a rapper, a male like, Israeli rapper, so it's, it's either for him or for you. You guys can decide. What makes you think that I'm not like an Israeli <laughs> rapper? I'm definitely a rapper. I may not be the Israeli. Okay. So that's Christina and uh, this incredible denim shop. And then you have... I want to show this from the outside. Let me just first show people how this works. So you were, this is a, Hannah, come here a second. Now, explain to people the location here. This is an amazing location my daughter found. So here you are in Tel Aviv and um, it's very central. This is Allenby Street right in front of us, one of the main streets of, uh, of all of uh, Tel Aviv. By the way, my scooter was right here and someone must have just taken it. Meaning they didn't steal it, they rented it. They're amazing, these scooters. And then you come, this foreign denim, and there's kosher sex. Isn't that amazing? And it looks just the way my book looked the way it, when it first came out. And then you see all the kosher sex books that are here. And, um, and we're doing a big event in Tel Aviv tonight. I hope you'll all come. Look at all that. <laughs> and then you... <laughs> I don't even know. Here's the mezuzah. This is like... Okay, well, let's just, get, let's, let's just make this... Let's be clear. This is the most kosher of all sex shops because it's got two mezuzahs on it. You got a big giant mezuzah here. Okay, here's my finger kissing the mezuzah. Oh, wait, let's just show the kiss. Ah. So this that's, the, that's the mezuzah. Did somebody say that? And then there's another mezuzah. So this mezuzah is what? More decorative? You gotta like make it clear, which is the, mezuzah, the, the real, the good mezuzah should be on the outside. We have the opening. We're gonna put this up here. We're gonna hang it. This Why didn't you do the opening while I was here? We couldn't organize this. Okay. So then you walk in, and then you have kosher sex. And uh, there are journalists here from the, it's the uh, uh, AFP. AFP, Associated Foreign Press. Is that correct? Agence Presse. Oh, what is it called? Agency of Foreign Press. Yeah, I really, I really wish, to be honest, I wish that I could uh, pronounce things properly with a French accent. I'd, I'd sound extremely sophisticated, but I, I can't, so I'll just mangle it. Anyway, so yeah, they were, they were interviewing my daughter today. And uh, so first you have all these editions of kosher sex, which is really, how'd you get all these? I don't know how my daughter Found assembled the these. <laughs> okay, this is, this is, so this is the first edition of the American, yeah. the yeah, first American that's edition, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, a, that's the original Well, let's original. just go through them. And this is what, this is uh, German? German? Okay. Kosher sex in German. And then this is. I don't know what. This is really Spanish. Oh my gosh, yeah. cool. That was Spain, I think. Okay. And then kosher uh, yeah, sex, that's, which one was that? Italian. That's oh, it is? Italian. Oh my god. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hold on, hold on. That's okay, delete this now. <laughs> I look very ignorant. You ruined it. Okay, so that's Italian. 
You know, my, 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 my kids know that I gave myself my own Italian this name. Is Itali- this is, um... Shmuley in Italian is Massimiliano. This is Spanish. Eh? I gave myself a, an Italian name because I just... Because Italians talk with their hands, and I always talk with my hands. So I don't have to speak Italian. I just have to do gestures with my hands, and it's, it's Italian. I love the Italian people and the Italian language. So what's this one, Hannah? That one's Spanish. Okay, that one's Spanish. Right? Now, this, was the, now, this is a rare edition, because this is the original... Uh, no, British, this one. So... Oh, you're gonna make me look so bad. Also... I'm gonna no, look. I'm gonna look really bad. This is also Italian. Oh this my God! Italian. Wait one second. If I look completely uneducated, that is my daughter Hannah's fault. No, in this, in this incredible battle going on right now for the proprietorship of the kosher sex brand, and my daughter's trying to take it from me, she clearly is trying no, to make me look Italian. terrible. Both... She's trying to make me look bad. So now you're making me. It seemed like I can't even tell the difference between Italian and Spanish. Okay, and this is, but this is a truly rare edition because this was the original British kosher sex published a year before the American, that's the American edition, and this was the British one. And I got to choose this image together with the publisher, was Duckworth, and I love the fact, this is kind of like the biblical thing of, uh, therefore, Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, therefore shall a man uh, leave his mother, leave his house. They shall cleave. Un- he shall cleave unto his wife. They shall become one flesh. See the way from the trunk of the tree they become one flesh. I love that image, and uh, I, I wanted to use it on the American edition uh, with Double Day, but Double Day didn't want it. I, I don't know why. And this is what? <laughs> what language? What language is that? Embarrassing. Is that Korean? Okay. Anyone who can help me decipher what language this is here, I will give you a special shout out. Tell me right now, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. What language is that? I really don't know, what language is that? This is Czech, I remember that, because it was a bestseller. It was a bestseller in, in the Czech Republic. Well, Kosher right. sex. Oh, don't say that, please. This, is this one? Ch- that one? I don't know, okay. Can you okay. Just, okay. <laughs> okay, so after that, we have all these interesting products. So, so a lot of people ask me, what makes them kosher sex? Why are these? And, and, and I don't like the word sex toys. You know, they're the, the, how do I say it properly again? Kosher. I'll just see. Agence Agence. Wait, one more time, one more time. You can say no, but I want to say it the way it's said. Agence France Press. Agence Fran- Agence France Press. Agence France Press. Agence, okay, I'll say AFP. <laughs> I'll say AFP. I am really mangling my languages here. Okay, so a lot of people ask, what makes this kosher sex right? I think you were just asking my daughter that. Is that like, Moshe is, that, is, that, is that Moshe? Yeah. Who's Moshe? He does laughs every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, hey, Moshe. Moshe so let me do it with this in the background. So a lot of people ask me, what, what makes this kosher sex? Like, why is, it, why is it kosher sex? So sexuality in our time, sex can be one of three things. It can either be procreational, about having children, and children are wonderful. I have nine, thank God. I'm so happy to be here with my daughter and my son here in Israel, uh, visiting in Israel. My daughter lives here in Tel Aviv. My son lives in Jerusalem. But sex is not about procreation. It's very easy to prove it. Because if sex was about procreation, then preg- women who are pregnant would not have any kind of sexual desire, or women who are postmenopausal would not have sexual desire. There's a lot of ways I can prove it with men as well, uh, beyond the scope of this particular broadcast that I'm doing. And to say that sex is procreational makes it a means to an end. Uh, interestingly, the Catholic Church argues it's procreational, and then evolutionary biology, which is atheistic most of the time, argues that it's procreational. So I reject that. If sex is not procreational, then it's recreational. Then it's about pleasure. But when sex is abused or misused, it doesn't feel good. So it can't just be recreational. So the real purpose of sex is, is intimacy. And the purpose of these... And Khan, remember we were debating this whole thing about language. I, I hate the word sex toy. You know why you know I hate the word sex toy? I hate the word sex toy because it's so it's so cheap. Sex toy makes it sound like sex is a game. It's not. Sex is the most serious thing that we do. Because it's the glue that can bind a man and a woman, husband and wife together to become bone of one bone, flesh of one flesh. So the idea of these products is carefully curated by my daughter Khana. Hi Khana. And they're carefully curated to to, to be used in a manner that does foster oneness, clo- closeness, and intimacy. Sexuality is intimacy. And so much of uh, the, the sex industry, let's call it, is all about self-pleasure, or it's all about replacing the need, this, the dependency on um, your spouse or your partner. 
And the purpose of kosher sex is actually to increase that dependency. I always say there's three possible things. There's dependence, independence, and then there's interdependence. So I don't like too much independence because it means that we're not... No, no, this is, they're watching in the U.S. To be too independent is to... Um, is not to need human company. To be too dependent is, is not good either. It's interdependence. And that's the idea of, of these carefully uh, curated products. So if any of you are in Tel Aviv, please come to the world's first ever kosher sex store, Ruan Valai Dorachana. And uh, God bless you guys.